Hey Lydia, what day is it today? Hey, Wednesday. It's Joe Wednesday. It's Joe Wednesday. Yay! <laughs> well, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Joe Wednesdays. This is Jay Hobbs. How we doing? Um, so hey, uh, I've I've crossed another uh, parenting milestone. Um, my my daughter has finally said that she hates me. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I I don't know exactly what the context was, but I was and I was not in the house at the time, but uh, but apparently uh, Ash was talking to Lydia, and she was talking about how she hated me, and it's like oh no, a toddler hates me, so it really doesn't actually mean that much, but but you know I mean they're they're learning words and all that kind of stuff, so there's if they're saying they hate something is probably worth investigating what feelings are behind it and that kind of stuff without getting too offended. I mean, it does, it's kind of hard to not have that hurt a little bit the first time you hear it come from your daughter, but, uh, but I don't, uh, I don't think I'm going to invest too much weight into it, but, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so, so she hates me. It, I'm sure it won't be the last time I hear that out of her mouth, but, uh, but, uh, hopefully we can help her get through whatever feelings are making her say that kind of thing. Um, let's see. So, um, on Friday this past week, I was able to play tennis with a coworker and a couple of his buddies. Had a really fun time. Uh, thought that might be an opportunity to tell you guys a few stories today. So, uh, so to start off, um, tennis was probably the only sport I played back in high school that I actually invested enough time to try and be as good as I could be with it. Because um, I had played a bunch of different sports when, like, through grade school, high school. Um, but, but yeah, tennis was the only one I, I think I really, like, devoted an actual uh, chunk of time to into it. Um, but the, you know, my, my problem was always I wasn't big enough to do many physical sports. I was, like, I was a tall skinny little kid um <laughs> and uh, I didn't have a lot of meat to me or anything like that so anything that required a lot of physical strength I wasn't all that uh good at but um but with tennis uh if, if you know anything about physics or <laughs> you know um it's uh it's not necessarily the mass of you it's the you know it's distance over time can equal the the force that you uh force that you exert on something and since I had really like long lanky arms with a ten rack, tennis racket on top of that I could uh I could actually generate some pretty decent pace on the ball when I once I knew how to act actually how to swing it properly um so I think um I, I put a lot of emphasis on learning like the technical portions of tennis on like like proper like holding of the racket forehand backhand swings where you want to meet the ball that kind of stuff and I really got good at serving the ball. Um, I don't, I, so, circumstances my senior year of high school prevented me from playing on the varsity team, but I was practicing with the varsity team specifically so I could serve at people and they could practice returning at me <laughs> because I had a, I was, I was pretty good uh, with, with my serves back in the day. Um, but yeah, so, so that's, uh, that's my little bit of tennis background. Um, but, to add on to that, um, in college, I've talked about how I joined a martial arts school. Um, this particular school had a lot of emphasis on training with weapons. And one of the weapons that I learned was a, uh, they called it short stick baton. Uh, I mean, basically anything stick-like can be a baton, an umbrella, a cane, anything like that. But this, this particular form was, had a little bit shorter of a, of a, of a length to it. Um, but the reason I'm talking about that at all was because there's, you start off the form with like, you, generally every martial arts form that I've learned had some sort of like salute in, salute out to start and end. But this particular salute in, you start off with like the baton kind of hidden behind your forearm and you're standing up straight. And then you would kind of do this like wrist flick so that you would catch it in your other hand, but you catch it behind you. And then you would swing upwards and with a jump. And um, I don't know what I, how I managed to do this, um, but there was one particular time I was, I was trying to do the form a little faster. 
and um, when I did the salute, I got I caught it behind my back, and then I started for the swing, and I think I was like must have still been holding on to it in my other hand, cause like I kind of stopped my arm momentum from going up, and then I just kind of kept pushing it, and I think I, I think in, instead of like an upward motion I kind of had this weird like wrapping arc uh, when I did that motion and um, and just thought like something like popped and then there was like a popping feeling in, in my shoulder and then it just like my arm just kind of dropped and I'm like okay I need to just kind of walk off the floor and figure out what just happened and then a lot of people a lot of people in my uh, a lot of friends of mine thought it was just kind of weird that I just suddenly like stopped the form right there um, but yeah, like I walked off the floor and just like, like, like I could, I could pick it up again. And like, so it's like, I didn't like pop it out of the socket or anything like that. And I was just kind of feeling around like, okay, everything kind of feels normal. I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, and I think part of the reason why I didn't really notice like anything being different was because I was I, like being in the school at that time, I was probably in like the best physical shape I'd ever been in my entire life. So I think... I was like strong enough to like move my shoulder without noticing anything really being all that different. Um, but once, once, once I stopped doing that and I was out of the school for a while, like I started to notice, like, I don't know how to really describe it other than saying it's like, there's kind of like a hollow spot when I move my shoulder. Like, as I, and I think I ended up like moving either, either like pulling a tendon in my shoulder or like kind of popping it out of place when I did that motion. And um, yeah, ever since there's just, it, it's just kind of this like weird, like mental stop when I get to like a certain point of any time I'm moving my shoulder where I know it's going to cause pain. Like my brain just kind of has this like mental shot off, like no, stop moving. So like, <laughs> like I'll, I'll be like trying to pick something up and all of a sudden like my arm will just like stop and I kind of have to like, pull my shoulder in or maneuver it around in order to get done what I need to get done. It's all very weird. Um, but anyway, so all of these things are leading up to what? This this past Friday, again, I, I was playing tennis, and, um, like, I still know the technical portions of the game really well, and I still serve all right when my shoulder lets me, but that, that, that proved to be very few and far between this past Friday. Um... And actually, and, and, and what was was kind of blew me away is like we, we played for like two and a half to three hours and that's probably the longest I've ever played tennis in like one sitting for probably years. Um, but yeah, like I was, um, I was really trying to push through with my shoulder and I was finding like, like even like just like a normal forearm swing, there's like, there's just like a spot like right where I'm trying to meet the ball where like my mind was fighting my muscle memory because like I was either like lifting up my arm or dropping it down and the ball was either going far out or hitting the net and it's like I just couldn't get couldn't get it in the right spot to get the right top spin to get you know hit in the in the um in the court so it's like well this is getting frustrating but um but yeah so it's it's um it's something I need I'm remembering that I need to work out again because I was um I think pre-pandemic when I was still going to the gym I was actually doing some good exercises to help that out so I'm now that I've done it and kind of reminded myself that, hey, this needs some attention, I'll probably be putting a little more emphasis on that um, when I'm back at the gym regularly. Um, but but you know what? I still had a good time. I still had a fun time. Um, so, I mean, if you guys are watching, then thanks for letting me join you and that kind of stuff. Um, hope to do it again sometime, though. It's look, we were talking about doing it this Friday. It's not looking like the weather's going to cooperate. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, I, I had a good time. And I mean, you know, it, it wasn't like too heavily competitive. Like we were trying to like win points and that kind of stuff. But um, there were five of us. So we we were playing like one doubles game on one court. And then like we would basically like do four serves. And then one person would rotate in for the next person. And so we ended up actually kind of getting a decent rotation where everybody actually like played doubles on with somebody else like throughout the whole game like we actually rotated in very well so like it wasn't like <laughs> you you were on the losing team and you ended up on the winning team just because how you rotated in it was kind of funny <laughs> mm, anyway um so coming up this is um looking like it'll be the last week for me of just working purely from home um my office is 
talking about moving people back in if they're comfortable and and I don't really see any too too big of a reason not to at least consider going in that kind of stuff so well, so I'll probably be doing that next week so um get going to be preparing for the shock of going back to work full time instead of being at home that's going to it's probably going to be just as jarring as it was transitioning to doing you know work from home for for such a long time so there's there's probably going to be a little bit of an adjustment period so um so that'll be fun Anyway, I'm going to cut myself off here. Hope you guys are having a great week. Let me know if you want to talk about anything in the comments below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.